What's up everybody? Coach Lauren from Colossus Fit and today I'm going to run you through how to do a cable kickback. So if your gym does have these handy little attachments, they do make the movement a lot easier. If not, you totally can use something like this and just wrap it around your ankle, but these are nice and cheap if you just want to invest in a pair, they do help the movement a lot. Okay, first things first. So we want to move this actually all the way down to the bottom setting. So we're going to pop this out, move it all the way down. Okay, so say that this is my working leg, my right side. I'm just going to clip it onto the front of the attachment here. Stand up. We're going to take a little step back from the cable. And then whatever my working leg is, so I'm on the right side, I want to take a little step over in that direction, as well as we're going to slightly rotate in that direction. So from here, I'm going to come into a slight hinge. You don't need to go super heavy with this. Just lean on something for some stability. And then you want to think about kicking towards the back. So we're going to let that foot come forward, take all the tension onto that working leg. Come back. All the way forward. Okay, so a big thing here is we want to make sure that all of this control is in our working leg. So we're going to soften those knees. Externally rotate like I mentioned before, and then we're going to completely control this. So all the way up, squeeze it at the top, and control it on the way down. I almost come into a negative to really feel that stretch on my glute, and then I pull from this glute. Okay, so before we get into some common mistakes, if you are looking to achieve your dream physique, I am available to work with one-on-one -on -one online. Click the first link down below to learn more about that. Okay, so first things first, the most common mistake I always see is just using so much momentum in this movement. There's really no control on the working leg and there's a lot of hyperextension on the back. So as you can see in this video, I'm really hyperextending my back. There's really all momentum there. There's no control on that working leg and I'm just releasing all that tension. So we definitely want to avoid that. We want to make sure that we're fully controlling it on that working leg. So the next one is actually a very common one as well and it's just opening our hips up too much to be able to get that range of motion that we want. You don't need to start at a full range of motion, really just start with trying to engage that glute. Even if your range of motion looks a little bit shorter than videos you've seen, that's okay. It's more important to have that control and just keep those hips really square to wherever you're facing. All right, and this is the last mistake. It's actually a very small tweak to the movement, but you'll feel so much more glute engagement by doing this. And that's just keeping your toes too squared. So whatever your working side is, make sure you want to externally rotate that side a little bit. Think about any glute exercise you do. You want to externally rotate your toes. Our toes are not going to be more forward. That's automatically more quad in general. So we want to make sure we're externally rotating out just a little bit and you'll feel that glute way more. All right, so that's a cable kickback. Get out there and master the movement. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to smash that like button and we'll see you guys next time.